Journal Entry 211 Something woke me up in the middle of the night. Strong aggression out in the wilds. Before I could alert the on-duty guards, we came under attack. Knowles, a scout party of five. They were feral. The alert was sent and everyone came stumbling out of the decks and the fight for the airship began. We outnumbered them, but they were prepared. We managed to put them down with some minor injuries and the artificer got his ass back to work. Max got an arrow through his hand and Avery is working on that. She's having some trouble healing these wounds. The gnolls apparently smeared their weapons with something. The captain says it's feces. Fucking fantastic. We broke out the anti-disease necklace and we are hoping that it will help. Nostin seems to have some actual medical training and has been cleaning out wounds with some of the crew's alcohol. It burns like a motherfucker. Journal Entry 212 We managed to get back in the air and we're in Nespadax. Avery's been periodically checking on wounds to make sure nothing goes bad. Max got use of his hand back, but it's a little puffy, even with the wound closed. So, Nespadax, one of the larger trade hubs in the circuit. This city is pretty radically mixed for an actual kingdom. The buildings are mostly wood and plaster with thatched roofing. Its main export is mineral wealth from a series of mines which flow southeastward rather than Cerebron's mines export which flows southwest along the trade circuit. We're set up in the inn for the night. Unfortunately, there's no airship going to our next stop, Ainfield. We'll have to make do traveling with a trade caravan on foot. I hope Max, Ian, and Austin are up for the task. Journal Entry 213 We kind of lucked out. We hooked up with a trade caravan hauling iron and copper and we're getting paid to guard it. Three of us lack weapons, so they'll be staying with the caravan if we get attacked. Our trip should take about four days through the plains. No known barbarian tribes out here, so that's a relief. Max keeps asking me for my gun since I already have a sword. I'm not going to give him my gun. He should have brought his own gun. So we're all chatting away while on our long walk when it suddenly gets out that Marcus has been sleeping with non-humans. Ian flips his shit about it, calling it bestiality and all that. Won't go near him. Marcus gave the any port in a storm response and they've been arguing about it ever since. Like there's not enough to deal with. <laughs>